CDC uh, directly just basically lying about the bill and saying everybody's at risk of extradition. And I actually confronted one of those journalists uh, on Twitter. Um, I believe his name was Stephen McDonnell. And the result, after I corrected uh, some of his assumptions and some of the articles that his outlet had provided, was that he blocked me. And uh, I was okay with that. I said, you know what, I, I think I need to offset some of this. And I began posting it. You know, how can you be freeding, uh, fighting for uh, free speech while you're beating up people who disagree with you? How can you uh, be fighting for human rights when you are targeting mainland Chinese where they even need to escape their campuses and come back to Shenzhen? Exposing the hypocrisy about, behind what they're doing gets people to a point where they start to realize oh, this isn't really about freedom and democracy. I just can't believe the international community doesn't know more about it. So my goal is to educate them a little bit more on that. When you can look back at Ferguson, Missouri, from his state, how they handled the protests there, full military gear, you know, uh, 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 fully automatic machine, machine guns, they, they went in with the full military. And now, all of a sudden, all of the violence from the protesters in, in Hong Kong is being glorified by him. And even though the police aren't doing anywhere near as much as what his police would do in the same situation, in the four or five months of protests in Hong Kong, you know, a, a, a masked rioter has already killed somebody in Hong Kong. Somebody has lit somebody on fire. And people are still able to hold on to this idea that it's the police who are brutal. I just, I, that's one of the most frustrating things for me about the whole situation. I mean, if you look at, um, there's a lot of people who covered some of the liberal arts studies of books that they have that's basically vilifying China. And so, of course, you have issues like this coming up now. And I, I, I don't want my, my kids growing up uh, around that. Um, so there definitely is an issue with um, the education system in Hong Kong and how, what kinds of values they're raising these kids with. You know, on the surface, it's the values of freedom and, and, and human rights. And underneath, when you open the pages, it's about discriminating towards mainlanders and continually looking at um, China with a very one-dimensional view. You know, I've been posting about this for four or five months, and I definitely get a lot of hate uh, from overseas for posting this. But there are some people I do get through, too. There are some people who say, oh, wow, I never realized it was more complex than this. I never realized exactly how deceitful my media is. And for me, I have a really big issue with that. You know, my kids are half Chinese, and I want them to be proud of that. When they go outside and people um, say to me, oh, your kids, they speak Chinese very well, I say to them, that's because they are Chinese, and I want...